In the last video, I talked about the Venezuelans and why I'm not afraid of the Venezuelans, nor should any of the chosen be afraid of the Venezuelans, the Chinese, the Russians, or the North Koreans. Do you remember this movie called World War Z? W W Z. It was about zombies. It's like damn near the whole world turned into zombies. And those who was not zombies, the zombies would get them. These zombies was quick. They could smell good. They can hear good. They could climb. They were determined to kill. But there was these certain people in the movie that was immune to the zombies. They weren't zombies. You see, in this movie, World War Z, they described these people that was immune to the zombies. These people that the zombies couldn't see, couldn't smell, the zombies didn't touch them. They described these people as sick people in the movies. Remember, in these movies, they always describe the chosen as sick or weird or monsters or some type of creepy thing. Well, in World War Z, the chosen was described as these people that these zombies, they couldn't touch. So let's talk about the Venezuelans. Let's talk about these invading armies that's already here, man. You see it. It's just going to get worse and worse and worse. Trust me. It's not going to stop. I'm not fear mongering. I'm trying to get you ready. Remember, I've been talking about body gangs for months and months and months. I was talking about adverse possession. And now they giving the immigrants in California $150,000 for a house. I told you that it was all fake. I said this months ago. Man, there's people who's predicted this years ago. And it's only going to get worse, man. This is why I say eat a little bit. Eat a little bit. All of that McDonald's, all of them hot dogs and all of that eating so your stomach can get full and you unbuckle your pants and all of that. That, that is over with. I hope you understand that. That's over with. When I work out now, it isn't. To look good, although I do look good. It's so I can run for a long time, so I can jump and crawl. You understand what I'm saying? Just imagine the average American right now. The average American male is overweight. The average American woman is single. Do you hear what I'm saying? This is why I don't wear a shirt. This is another reason why I don't wear a shirt when I make videos. There's going to come a time where we're not wearing no damn shirts. None of us is wearing no damn shirts because the factories are going to be closed. So get used to it. Get used to eating a little bit. Get used to being humble, man. This American pie, it's just crumbs now, man. This American dream, it's a nightmare. Look, you can take this as fear mongering if you want to, but you can't change it. You ain't about to stop these Venezuelans from coming over here. They here. All they doing is just waiting for a word, man. Some type of signal. And they're going to get activated. But you have to understand. Now listen to me. Listen to me, okay? They're coming for a certain type of people. They're coming for a certain group of people, man. A lot of these people are in the middle class and up. 
I mean, why would they come take over the projects? The projects don't have anything. Watts don't have anything. And of course, they need somewhere to set up shop before this war crack off. And they're going to be up in the projects and the different hoods and stuff like that. But understand, they have their eyes on a bigger prize. They have bigger fish to fry. I mean, nobody doesn't need to come inside of the ghettos to kill all the Negroes. Crack is doing that. The Bloods and Crips and the Gangster Disciples is doing that. You understand what I'm saying? A group of sleep black man is not a threat to nobody. And so happens the majority of these hoods is sleep. I'm more worried about walking through the projects than the damn Venezuelan. And and I'm this is just reality, man. I'm saying this to say that the chosen, we don't have to worry about this. Now, of course, we are not going to be slipping, but there's a spirit that's going to be on these soldiers that's coming over here. There's going to be like a vicious spirit that's going to be on them. And they're going to be just like them zombies in World War Z. And the chosen are going to be like those that was immune to the zombies. That's why I made that video earlier to, to, to show you, to, to tell you the testimonies of a person who slept in the lion's den. When I went to Wayside, when I was in the county and I went to that place where all of the Mexicans was and that one black dude, I slept good that night. I mean, me and the black dude, we talked for a long time and stuff about all different types of stuff. But after we talked and he got sleepy, I just dozed off and woke up and it was cord and I was gone. I literally slept up in the lion's den. So I'm not fearing no Venezuelan. You hear what I'm saying? You see the most high. He can turn what's meant to be bad into good. He can make your enemies bless you. This is the benefits of being the chosen. And if you're not the chosen and you out there sinning and you connected to this third dimension. You're going to go down with the ship and the Venezuelans is the ones who's coming with the hammer. Don't worry. It's a lot of Koreans. Look, they already here, man. They already here. They've been here for years, just setting up, up in the neighborhoods. You just starting to see it now. Now you're just starting to see it. They about to get activated. It's about to get real wild, man. Back to the shirtless, the shirtless wormwood. To all the women out there, you, you better be wanting a guy that that's willing to be shirtless they got muscles and stuff that's with the lord you hear what i'm saying because these p diddy dudes these shiny dudes these dudes that that want to look pretty in the mirror and stuff man these venezuelans is about to eat them up man that's why I said when the Venezuelans come to the chosen ones, especially the ones with body gangs, they going to already know what time it is. They're going to say, oh, them, them other Americans, them, the Americans that don't eat the McDonald's and party on Friday, Saturday and go to church on Sundays. These is these is the, the, the other Americans. Oh, I'll leave them alone. Or put a patch on their arm, give them some papers so that they can move throughout the country and stuff. I'm telling you, this is how it's going to be. There is no stopping these armies that's coming physically. It, it is not no stopping it because these armies are put here by the most high, man. Do you listen to the woman prophet, the sister? Her name is Celestrio, man. She's a real prophet. And I wouldn't be stamping her with the prophet badge if she wasn't a prophet bro i mean i could just look at her i could look at her face like chosen ones real chosen ones we all look 
kind of like odd a little bit. You hear what I'm saying? Like different. You hear what I'm saying? Although she's beautiful, she still look different, like ancient. Like I don't know how to explain it. People say I look, I look different. Like I come from another time. You hear what I'm saying? So you listen to her messages, man. When she talk and she say her prophecies and her dreams and all of that, the things she write down, I could literally see it. See, that's how I can tell when the person is really telling the truth about their dreams and they they testimonies and all that because I could see it. I could visualize it. Every word that she say, I I could just see the troops. I could see all that. I also had dreams about this. I had dreams about this all the way in 2011 and 2012, man. They're here and they're going to be vicious. And there's nothing, no gang bangings, clicking up and all of that. It's too late, man. It's too late for all of that. The only thing we can do now is repent and get our house in order, man. You best understand. They are like the locusts. They are like the cleanup crew, man. And they hear and they don't fear guns and they don't fear all of that loud music and beating on your chest and none of that type of stuff, bro. You hear what I'm saying? They hear for a purpose. And when you hear the word Venezuelan, that's just cold word for UN troops, invaders and stuff, man. Whether the Democrats brung them in or the Republicans brung them in, it, it don't matter. It's all God's plan. They supposed to be here and they're not going nowhere. Until the job is done, man, this is it. Go on, on and go out to Disneyland tomorrow, man, because it just might not be here no more, man. This is it. This is a wrap and they don't want to tell you. So guess what? The most high put it up in us to tell you certain content creators is telling you, man. But we rather eat the pig feet, man. We rather dance, man. Y'all don't want to hear me. Y'all just want to dance. Somebody wrote in the comment section. It's not about me. It's about us. Like, it's not about just wormwood. Because I said that the Venezuelans are going to be cool with me. And, and they are. And they are going to be cool with all of the chosen. These North Koreans and these Russians that come over here, they are going to know. The spirit up in them is going to know who is with the Most High and who's not, man. This is a benefit of the being the chosen. Don't get mad at me. This is not about a black thing. Oh, my people, I want to go against the Venezuelans because my 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 melanated people. And man, you know how many melanated people participated and rode the goat, bro. It's more melanated people that participated than it ain't. It's more melanated people participated than didn't participate, man. It's not about melanated or nothing like that. It's not about my damn race. If Jesus said that it wasn't about his mama and his brother and all of that, it's about who followed the will of the most high. Then it's the same thing with me, man. Out of a hundred brothers, out of a hundred, out of a hundred melanated, it's probably only three of them that ain't going to get touched by that Venezuelan. I don't care how many guns you got. I don't care how many gangs click up together and do all of this stuff, man. This is from the most high. This is why I say fast. This is why I say pray. This is why I don't preach SR and BG to go out and get girls. SR and BG to get prepared for this right here. You're going to be full of light. You're going to have a nice, good, tight body, man. So if you have to go days and days without eating until we get that food, you can do that. This is training. You think I'm just making a damn title when I'm saying military boot camp, spiritual training and all that. Now, the other content creators might be doing that. 
Look at me, man. I don't wear a damn shirt. You can't see the warrior up in me. I'm here because this time is here. This is war time, man. I forgot what I was saying. I think I was saying that somebody put in a comment. Oh, yeah, I finished that about our people. This this is just bigger than Wormwood. This is about our people. Do I understand what's going to happen if the Venezuelans in, invade our neighborhoods? The gangbangers invaded our neighborhoods. The Bloods and the Crips invaded our neighbor's hoods. The Venezuelans is here. They have been here. People in the hood know that they're here. And it's still gangbanging in the hood. You hear what I'm saying? It's always been killing in the hood since the gangs. The gangs is what invaded the neighborhood. Freeway Rick with all that crack is what invaded the neighborhoods robbing and killing each other was what invaded the damn neighborhoods way before i even knew what a damn venezuelan was i knew about east coast crip and avalon killing each other you hear what i'm saying sr and bg for that light man get that light up in you man I could have I could have went different routes. I could have been a dating coach. I could have just said, you know what? This is going to be just strictly SR and just made straight SR videos. It made money. It made money with the body games videos. I could have just been body game. Forget body games. It could have been body game. I would have mixed the body game with the dating coaches, I could have got away with it and made a lot of money and had way more subscribers right now, man. It's a reason. It's a reason why I'm saying all this SR and BG is for like the military. There's going to be a time where we can have girls and stuff and women and all of that. Oh, another another person asked me, I remember what I was saying. A person asked me in the comments, like, if he worked for it, you know, he making six figures a year. He worked for it. Why can't he, you know, flaunt it? Because I say be humble and tuck your chain. Tuck your chain a lot of times, man. You shouldn't even be wearing a damn chain. But if you do, I mean, be humble with your stuff. The reason I say that. Is because this is wartime. I don't. I, I don't know how you viewing this. I, I. I don't know how you seeing this shit through your eyes. But me and my guys, we see that this is war, and it actually been war for a few years. It's just slow. It's just quiet because, in order to take out a country like this from within, you got to do it slow and quiet. It's not a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So you see these, you see these kings, right? Back in the days, you see a king and the king have different crowns. A king have a crown and it have diamonds and rubies and emeralds and all of that. And then the king have a crown. It might just be a, 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 a metal crown, not fancy or anything. And that metal crown is for protection because it's wartime and the king don't put on his robe and his jewels and stuff like that in wartime. But there is a time that the king do get fancy. I'm not telling you to always tuck your chain and never have a chain and you understand what I'm saying? No, we are royal people. I pity the fool who think that I'm just going to be a damn poor righteous teacher. I understand what you're saying. We want to show the diamonds in the gold, man. We came from royalty, but we got to wear the metal hat, man. We got to wear the metal crown, man. The crown that don't got the diamonds in the jewels. The crown with the diamonds in the jewels, man. It don't have the protection in war. Plus, you could see... And tell who the king is in war if he's wearing these big damn diamonds and gold. So the king got to dumb down. 
in wartime, man. You understand what I'm saying? That's why you want to be humble. That's why Wormwood don't wear all of the shirts that Wormwood could damn wear and, bl- and, and, and blind your ass. Because it's wartime. Now, and if I keep talking, man, I'm going to just be rambling, man. And I don't do that. SRBG. Not for just the honeys, man. Not for just the money. But look at what time we in, man. It's like we surrounded, man. We'll be stupid, man, to just be eating and eating. And just imagine the people that's on a dialysis and stuff, man. The ones with the pacemakers. Americans, man, is messed up, bro. And it's wartime, too. And, and like I said, just imagine all the women. Just imagine all the single women. Or all the women that fell for these Jezebel fools. You know what a Jezebel would do if a group of Venezuelans come and knock on your door? They're going to give them the female, man. The, the Jezebel dude is going to tell the female to leave. Like, y'all can have her. Y'all can have her. And then come have me. That's what the Jezebel going to say. The Jezebel dude. See, this, this system got all of the women. Not liking the masculine, masculine man. And liking the Jezebel man. Them dudes in the skinny jeans and stuff. Are the dudes with so, so much money. That they don't have no spirituality. And that's what's going to help us. In these next weeks and months and years to come, man. Peace.